zebra. The zebra. Harry, how you been? You know, Tigo, I only come for main events. <laughs> I only come for main events. I only come for things that I know are going to create history. And I think today's stream should create that. Because um, <sighs> Arsenal are just, they're dog shit. They're actually what you said they was going to be, but no one listened to you. This is the worst team, the worst that a filthy fellas team has ever been. Yep. Not one Tottenham team in filthy fellas history, not one Man United team, not one Chelsea team, not one. I mean, maybe West Ham, I guess, but Steve O's a vibe, isn't it? Do you know what? See, with Steve O, Steve O's like a rare, he's the rare filthy fella because he supports a team that's outside the usual top four. And even they're doing better than Arsenal. They are, they are. They're one nil down to Palace right now, but they're they're doing better than Arsenal. I need poet Miles Specs to get their fucking asses right into this into this chat. Because I don't know if the, the viewers remember, yeah, when I said that Man United was gonna win the league, and Poet came with his flipping separate eyes and said, Yo, how can Arsenal be this place and all of that stuff. And I said, your defence is horrible. Like, your attack is non-existent. One player. They laughed at me. Listen, they, they signed... Gabe, they they, they signed, rubbish. They signed Gabriel, bro. I don't know if you watched Gabriel today, but that first, that goal... Don't that they conceded. Goals. Yeah, but the goal they conceded was his fault as well. Yeah, do you know what? I'll be real with you. I was watching a game um, with Sharky, and, and Sharky, he's, uh, give it one more year, he's done with football. I'm telling you, I can see it. I can see it, and he's, ah, oh, it's mad. Never forget Sharky's name was AFC Sharky. <laughs> Wait, let me call Miles. Miles is the one he's on. here, really. I'm here, front line, bitch. I'm adding bitch as well in the chat. Bitch. Yeah, sure. So listen, um, all right, crowd, yeah. I haven't been here for a long time now. Talk to me. What's wrong with Arsenal? Apart from jet black hair. I would like to hear the crowd's perspective on that, to be honest. T goes really a shut up. All right. Whoever that yeah. is. <laughs> Two bad games out of what? Tigo, you're a joke, man. I don't even know who you're talking about. Do you know what? I, this, I this, guess you're talking call, about Gabriel, but okay. This calls for me to call my dad. I think. <laughs> yeah, we can't get your dad time. online. Perfect dad. Perfect time. Perfect time to call my dad. Dad? Yeah? There's some serious news going on in North London. Have, have you heard about it? Wow. So basically, it's this team called Arsenal and they're killing their fans. <laughs> I know my team is dead, so forget about my team. Your team is dead? It's dead, of course. It's a rubbish team. I mean, I'm praying for, I'm praying for them to go down. Maybe if they go down, something will, you know, will change. Like a team like Arsenal, a big team like Arsenal, yeah. all the players, all that we don't have two players. The way, the way we are performing, I mean, it's not acceptable. You know, Dad, I forgive you for trying to make me support yeah. Arsenal when I was younger. I forgive you. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, 15th, we are people of my boss. I took it to the Yeah. We are, you know, I don't even know where we're going to start, you know. You know well, Dad. I just wanted to quickly call you. I know you're probably sorting out the house in Sierra Leone. You don't have to come back too soon because uh, North London, they're still killing them with their fans. So, Baja, stay away. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Right. How can you phone your dad and warn, warn him about a pandemic in North London? Um, he doesn't want to come back. You got to understand, yeah? Remember, my dad was a proper football fan, hence why I love football. 
and he wanted me to support Arsenal. But there was something about it when he said yeah. to me to support this team. I said, nah, <laughs> longevity, I don't see it. Like, they were probably good at that time as well. And Elka, and Elka, Petit, Petit Fule. They had they had good players, but bruv, it's just over, man. How come my dad say I'm not going there? <laughs> 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 I know. Shout, shout out to my pops, man. Yeah, I feel for him, man. Being a football fan sucks. Like, I don't even think you lot are going to beat Sheffield United tomorrow. Do you know? I, I said that to um, I shouted to my brethren. I was like, knowing us, yeah, we will concede two goals before half time, and then come back and try and win the game three two. That's what we'll do. Knowing us, yeah. Uh, well, that's all you. That's all you've done all season. All right, guys. Specs is messaging in the group just to show you that he's a messer. Um, I just want to see his response. Oh, he's put. Okay, he said he's putting a little one to bed. Okay, cool. We'll wait. We'll wait for him. Um, I think Mar- Mars might be putting the little one to bed as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Hmm. We're not a little one. We're talking about. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, do you know what? Yeah, like I said, I wanted to. I wanted to. Um, I wanted to read some of what people are saying because I spoke to the crowd for a long time. Do you know what I mean? Um, hold on. I said, who's a zebra on the right? This is a guy whose team are two games away from being top of the league. Deep that. Listen, if that, this game ends a draw, it opens wide up for fucking Manchester United at this point. But do you think, guys, yeah, do you think I'm mad to think that Man United is going to win the league? You're absolutely fucking insane, yeah. Okay, cool. I just wanted to know. I don't think you think it, but I do I appreciate Tigo. I actually think we can win the league. That that no, that's no, how no. crazy. Okay, you know what? Someone just said, Abdi said, Harry, every time you talk, we lose. Allow it. So I'm gonna stop because yeah. someone said that to me. Yeah, whenever you get carried away, yeah, the defeat the, the L's come, the Sancho L. Yeah. Yeah. But that wasn't that wasn't your fault. That was um we all know what happened there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edward he was he was too he, he agreed too much to come that it it flips. Do you know what's the maddest thing is, yeah? <clears throat> that Sancho thing, I was ready to bet money that he was coming. That's yeah, yeah. no, it was done, bro. It was done. It was done. Like I don't even anyone that like any, any other interpretation of wow. Of that deal being done, that anyone no, it was done. It was finished. Yeah. It just fu- it just Man United wouldn't pay the money at the last minute. That deal was done. I say last minute. No, it was. It, Dortmund told Man United it was done probably a month before Man United realized, but Man United thought it was on the whole time. Yeah, and the fact that the funny thing is, uh, you know, shout out to the crowd because none of you that unfollowed me. I thought I was going to lose all my followers. To be honest with you. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> but the thing is. Sorry, Sam. People still tweet you about that. Like, update, update. Yeah, so like, I get like um, 16, 16 year olds. I could be talking about death. Someone <laughs> passed away because of COVID. Sancho update underneath. It's mad. Uh, you, put a, you put a video up on Instagram today. What's, what's that about? Uh, so, yeah, basically, guys, I'm working with um, uh, this company called Um. And we're basically um, going to be doing, yeah, um, literally, um, um, man's basically going to be doing, um, like challenges with YouTubers. So it was like the biggest YouTubers in the UK. Uh, we're supposed to have football players, but because of COVID and football, it's mm. kind of up. But next year, we're definitely going to have like most of the biggest players like in, in the world, probably, um, doing challenges. So it's sick. But this actually is very good content. It's not like it what good. with other people. It's actually fucking jokes, man. It's sick mm. stuff. Yeah, the clip the clip you put up look look really like high, high, high quality. Yeah, it's the people that do um the production teams, the people that do sky stuff, like all the sky shows. So yeah, it's, it's just what does um stand for? You are under a misconception that you are our most valuable asset. You are not. Oh my god. Who do you think you are? I'm Stormfront. I'm the new girl. No, it. What do we do now? This is a war. We're gonna take her down. Well, I think this is going great.
We are sons, daughters, husbands, wives. Healing, supporting, saving lives. We're training, skills, support, team. Development, fulfillment, pride, esteem. We are you at your very best. We are the NHS. What does um stand for? You, I'd be fucking lying if I knew where it was. <laughs> I just know it. I don't know what it's like. <laughs> yeah, because I thought it was UMM. And then I watched the clips and I was like, um, no, it's actually um, all right, here we go. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty good, man. There's some um, very, very good YouTubers on there. And I've done some stuff with them as well, like with a lot of football players, um, like especially the young ones as well. So, oh, really? Yeah, it's going to be sick. I saw Bayo Akinfemo, obviously. Yeah, he's not a football player. He's a um, he's everything. He's a football player, influencer, YouTube, he's everything in one. Like, yeah, we were talking to talk to someone about him the other day, man. That's what a way to flip uh, uh, the end of a career. Yeah, I told. I, I feel like he's got a long career outside of football. Um, yeah, because of the work he does in it, like it's sick. Still, he'll be famous for fifteen years. Oh, sorry, West Ham. West Ham have equalised. Have they? Are you watching this game? Um, I'm going to. I just thought. I thought the Arsenal man was going to be in here. They're pussy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they are. Miles wanted this at eight o'clock. He just he just fucking tags Miles filthy fellas in an Instagram story. Do you know what it is? He's a in, he's a Twitter in, uh, filthy fella. When yeah. it comes down to the crunch time, he's never here. Do you know what I mean? And when he's here, it's always I know you were right. I should have listened. That's all of them though. Poet will never come on here. I mean, look, guys, this is a perfect example of who's really on smoke. I came here with my Zebra jersey, the one that everyone said that I, you know, messed up the season for. But look at us. Some people would say if it wasn't for me and what I did in that advert, we wouldn't be in this position we're in right now. Oh, okay. I, I tend to agree. I tend yeah. to agree. Do you know what I mean? Like, you really turned my United season around, even though Redcoat was in that advert. But we won't talk about that. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. What I know is that I was in that video with H and Samwise. Don't know. Yeah, I know. no, it's fine. We don't have to do that. Um, did you see Loons getting pranked on the live on Monday? The word on the road is that NSG are going to get down Joe Walker first before they get down. <laughs> they go. They go. He's impersonating. Yeah, that's the impersonator first. <laughs> do you know what with Loon? Yeah, his name is what he is. That's the funny thing is like, because his name is Fruit Punch Pappy and Super Necessary and all this stuff, I think people forget. No, his name's Loon mm. and he's fucking mental. They need to understand it. the game. Mash Town. Like, what do you think that means? Yeah. I mean, people, I mean, look, there's entertainment and there's real life. This is someone who is in real life and has come into entertainment. I don't listen. Think we're in entertainment, Harry. We're we're in the entertainment business. Me and you, real life is somewhere else. Yeah, we. No one worry about you know. We're in we're in the entertainment business. Let real life people handle real life business. But preferably not people whose names come from the crew Mash Town. Yeah. Do you know what I always say? In entertainment, you just have to entertain and whatever comes of it, you have to accept it. Mm. For someone that's, that's not that inclined to do so, you're, you're asking the wrong problem, the wrong person to do the right things. So, yeah, it's, they call him Young Rottweiler for a reason. So. Mm. I will just hope it remains entertainment for the whole period of time that it carries on because we all share an industry at the end of the day. Somewhere down the line, the crossovers are all there and it's not good for anyone. Yeah. It's a long day. It's a long day. Yeah, it's a long. It's a long business. You know, we all, everyone's going to cross over. Everyone's going to. It's everyone just stay calm. I'm a YouTuber now, anyway, so I, I've changed my name. My yeah, name. about that. About that. You you went on YouTube. Uh, you embarrassed us. Yeah, I, I was so stupid on there. Um, but you're not a stupid person. Do you know what it is? When pressure's on, I am. Um, I've made a lot of stupid decisions when there's like not a lot of time to think about it, and that was one of them. Mm. However, however, Chunks is very intelligent, so I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna. It's not really an L. Anyway. Chunks is smart. I've I've always thought Darkest was like the not smart one, but now no, I'm he's starting to think he's genius. Yeah. Also, 
Dark is, is genuinely, I've, I think him and Spectre are the two most funniest people I've ever met. I definitely, I've never met Darkest, but I go out of my way to watch content that he's involved in because I definitely think he's one of the funniest people, one of the funniest naturally funny people on the planet, I think. Hundreds. Like, I think him and him in a room with Specs, there would be the most stupidest conversations. Ever. He should come on a normal show. We're trying, we're trying. I, I, I was with Chunks a couple Mondays ago and he was just like, look, yes, it, of course it should happen. Yes, it should be simple. Watch how it's not simple, and it hasn't been simple. Yeah, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's you gotta physically get him into yeah. the play, man. That's that's a hard. Oh, one. oh, Tottenham are through. Tottenham are through. Oh, they've hit the post. Fuck's sake! All right, I'm gonna go watch that game and eat some food. Right. Listen, the minute he go, these yeah. will come in here. Yeah, please. I'll shout you. Please, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Tigo, you're a cubbed. Am I? Cubbed. If you can't shower. No, I'm home. Man. Why were you on? What's going on? Miles, I'm not taking you seriously. Shout out to Zach Mohammed. We're all cunts. I think that's why we love the show. Zach's the man anyway. He knows that. What's going on? Miles. Yeah, Miles, man. I've been fucking holding this down for 31 minutes, you cunt. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, man. I had to fucking have a shower and all that shit. Sorry, man. Why were you on Instagram? What do you mean? Oh, Tagging Specs' my... shoes. I was coming back from my cousin's house, innit? I was walking over. Is that where you shower? No, I'm home now. I'm showering at my house now. I'm home now. <laughs> Fuck you, no. You go there for the internet, you go there for shower. What's going on at home, bro? Fuck off, man. I'm home now, man. Hopefully the internet holds out this week. I don't know Did why. you watch the Arsenal game? Yeah, I watched it. Paul. Is Gabriel definitely good? I think he's a good centre back. I think he's got the elements of being a good centre back, but I think he needs teaching. He needs help. He's young, Tigo. He's got. He's like he's carrying the team, and we shouldn't have bought him for that. Like everything's on his shoulders. He's a young centre back. He should be. He should have someone like a, for example, like Socrates. a Yeah. Who? Socrates. A anyone? Anyone older than him, telling him what to do, pulling him, pushing him, telling him when to go, stay, stop, don't tackle, because he he goes for everything. He rushes for everything. He rushes for everything. Sometimes the centre back should tell him, "Don't go. Leave that to the leave that to the DMs." So why do you think it is that Arteta kicked Socrates out of the squad? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not saying Socrates is good either, by the way. I'm he just wasn't. saying what you're talking about makes sense. Yeah, because he physically he couldn't get there, but he was a good defender, though. If that makes sense, he was a half decent defender. Who's like Socrates? He, he knows the elements of defending. I'm saying like positioning. Da, 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 da. He Where's Mustafi? Shit. He's on the bench. I'd rather have. Oh, was he? Yeah, he was on the bench. He was on the but bench. But he was good. At, uh, Arsenal fans were happy with him at the end of last season. Who Mustafi? Yeah, in the three at the back. Yeah, yeah, the three at the back though. He was playing the right hand side of it, which we, now he's playing um, Rob Holding. I don't think he's good enough. He, Mustafi's a bit more faster than Holding, isn't it? So he's got the pace, but it's not that much. But fucking hell, I don't know. Greg Williams coming on. Who? For big, big, big Reg Wheelon's coming on for Bergwin. Oh, Bergwin. Oh, I'm not watching that game, though. I wasn't. Um, yeah, because yeah, you ain't got Prime, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got Prime. I ain't got to have some Prime, bro. But yeah, I hate you again, Tigo. You fucking called it with this Fear Walcott shit. When are you going to start listening to me? Bro, why can't you just call that something goes right for Arsenal for once? Why don't you just say something nice for us and it might come through? Um. Okay, I'll say this. Turning form around, it's from bad form to good form. People, fans always want it to be lose, lose, win. It's rarely that. Turning form around, not just a sporadic one one win here, one way there. Turning form around is, I've always thought, a three-point turn. It's like you're turning a bus around. Mm. The first thing you got to do is stop. That's one point. Second thing you got to do is stabilise. That's another point. Then, you've got to win. Arsenal, unfortunately, I think the third game in that three-point turn would be Chelsea. And I'm not, I, even though Chelsea are not playing well at the moment, I you don't think Chelsea... Like Everton you think, you do I, a draw? Nah, you no. Nah. You can, you can. I don't think you will, though. 
I watched them against um, Chelsea the other day. Granted, Chelsea hit the post a couple times. I think Reese yeah, James twice. hit the post. And Zuma. Yeah, Reese James hit the post. And uh, Mason Matt hit the post from a free kick. Zuma as well? Zuma from a hot corner? Zuma was Wolves. Hmm? Zuma was against Wolves. Oh, I'm thinking about, sorry, I'm thinking about yesterday's game. No, no, no. What highlights did I watch? I don't know. I know, yeah, Zuma. Yeah, Zuma hit the bar against Wolves. He might, did he hit the bar against Everton? I don't think so. I think someone else did, though. Mm-hmm. Fucking hell. Spaghetti, yeah? Mm, it's needed, man. Comfort food. Mm. <laughs> it's needed, man. Everton, but Everton, are Everton, Everton just, they, did they beat Leicester, yeah? What was the score between Everton? Did they Everton win today? It looks, like, it looks like they beat Leicester 2 0. Richarlison and Mason Holgate. They beat Leicester. Leicester are yeah. slyly trash, though, aren't they? Yeah, but they're, they're better trash than us. So far, you know. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And where's all these Man United pricks? Because at the beginning of the season, when they was going to. Everton have got fans, by the way. Liverpool's one of the only cities in tier two in the Premier League. So they got fans. Have- yeah, but London is in tier three. Yeah, I know. We got screwed over. Today as well. Say free. Why couldn't it have been tomorrow? Fuck, you know, what's the difference between today and tomorrow? It's not an excuse. I'm, I'm just chatting shit. It's not an excuse. I'm, I'm clutching. I'm clutching. I'm clutching. What were we saying about May United? Where were they when they. But, yeah, but where haven't May United only lost like two games this year? Yeah, but when it was getting, getting bad for them at the beginning of the season and that we're saying lives, these guys are going, Harry, these guys, Jordy, they all went missing. All in the group chats, I don't watch football no more. Margs is silent. I mean, I'd have lost three games, actually. That's quite a lot. Now I'm here. I'm here fighting everybody by myself. Specs is a fucking prat because he was back in Arteta at the beginning of the season as well. So now are you? I'm... Yeah, I'm... yeah. What, what can I do? I'm... Everyone say Arteta out. All right, cool. We sack Arteta today. Who are we going to get? Steven Gerrard? No, don't listen to that clown, man. Stop, man. Come on, man. What about uh, Sorry. Sorry, bull. Fuck it out. Is it what we need right now? Do you think he can stare at it the right way? I think I think right now, if you don't if you don't pick up four points out of your next two games, you 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 you're basically saying, okay, hopefully we finish in the top eight. Even if we do, I think it's hopefully I don't think we're gonna finish top half of the table, just about. Yeah, I mean, look, um, the... your team is shit, and that's the if you if you don't think your team's gonna make top ten, you do need just to change your about... manager. Yeah, just about. I, I, I think the if you don't think good. Arsenal are better than Everton, Southampton, West Ham, Wolves, Villa, then you should set your manager. I think we are better than them. I just don't know why he ain't getting a fine tune out of them. Because at the beginning of the season, we was all right. It's well, I believe... Like, uh, what did, uh, uh, there's, there's definitely Arsenal fans in this chat right now. What did Edu say yesterday? Did you read that, Miles? Uh, he said something about... Um, he, he was back in Arteta, basically. I saw something. I didn't, I didn't really read too much, no. I know I saw some, one or two things on Twitter saying about he's back in Arteta and I think he's the man for the job or something, basically. He's back, Tim. Yeah, whatever. Um, whatever he said, it's, it's not going to help. Eddie was in the crowd today. Yeah, I saw a clip of him in the crowd. He didn't look happy. He was in the crowd today, acting as if he cares. And hold on, I've got, I've got some stuff here from Edu. Um... The club is still 100% behind their manager, Edu. They had a virtual discussion with fans. So he's taking you, the piss. Who's that? Who, who's, who do they have a discussion with? A How many fans was that? Oh, my God. He said, I'd like to hear from you. As a Brazilian, I'm very open. I'm not scared to say things. We're not comfortable in this situation we're in. What's being Brazilian got to Brazilian do with it? it? Yeah. 
Every single club has problems. The stories about a split between the players and Arteta are not true. Stories about players not believing and not trusting in Mikel are not true. If you say so. <laughs> he's got to protect the club, innit? He's got, to, he's got to say that. You can't just come out and say, yeah, Mikel, he's lost the dressing room. You can't say all that shit. But personally... About the- about Saliba, he said, maybe he needs a little more time. He's a bright talent. We need to talk with him and Mikel to plan for next year. Next year? Bro, Tigo, you know he's playing in the under-23s? Yeah. You got sent yeah. off the other day. Yeah. He's running. He's bossing the under-23s. He's bossing it down there. Running through teams. Like, what are you doing? Under, like, I understand. If you could play under-23, surely you could play Premier League. There's no crowds. So there's no pressure on you like that. I don't understand. I understand that he's gone through stuff with his family and that I get it, but you can't be playing under twenty threes and then saying I'm not ready for the for the Premier League. Which again, the yeah. stuff of his family and I got a lot of fucking hate for this. That's you can find Twitter confirming that. You can't find a lot of other people confirming that. Okay, well, if, whatever it is, if it, if it's true or not, hopefully, like he gets through it because obviously any man to lose his mother, especially at that young age, is a sad thing. Of course, very sad. Edu believes that Arteta is crying out for a player with creativity in the middle of the park this season. Fuck off, Edu, because... But you knew that, though. They knew that going into the fucking summer. You lot knew, they knew we was not going to play Ozil. You lot knew. You, 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 you lot blocked him out. And now when it's going, sh- when shit hit the fan, you're saying it's now in fucking December. When it's the too- quote's amazing, actually. The quote's amazing. Um... M. Mahamud 16. No, he didn't. He did not. Com- Arteta did not confirm it. He did not confirm what Twitter says happened. He did not confirm that. He said he had problems learning the language because of COVID. That's what he said. Uh, the Brazilian. Uh, so Edu's quote is It's quite clear what we need. We need a player with creativity in the middle. We don't have that in the squad right now. Hmm. This you couldn't have you. This couldn't have backfired any worse. I don't think than it has yeah, done. It's true. Like, oh, I, we're gonna drop. We're gonna drop Ozil. Whether it's whether it's for the political reasons, which I am, I am strongly advised that is not the reason that he's out the squad. Then that the pay cut thing was more the thing. But whatever it was, you thought you were making a statement. You thought you were just gonna keep rolling. Yeah. <laughs> and now you're talking. You're on. You're doing virtual fucking press conferences, talking about the thing you need is the, the highest paid player at the club, who you didn't even fucking put in a squad. Who, by the way, Danny Drinkwater, he might be getting sent off for having fucking Fighting fights in under twenty threes. Ozil ain't playing under twenty threes. Yeah, he's, he's eligible. Playing. Not playing anything. That's mad. It's crazy. You should either they should have either just got rid of him altogether, sell him for dirt cheap to Galatasaray or whatever, pay off the rest of his wages, see you later, bye bye, thank you very much, or say to Arteta, you have to put him on the squad, you have to play him. It's either or you can't, or you can't just leave someone there training with the imagine Tiga, I see it like this, yeah. Imagine they're training because he's training with the Arsenal team. See, I watched the videos, I see the videos, he's in there, I hear Arteta saying, Well done, Ozil, da, 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 good mm. pass. I'm hearing this, so imagine. Erzul, we all know he's a great, he's a great midfielder, a great creative midfielder. He's the linchpin. So it goes from someone, I don't know, example, Xhaka to El Nene to Erzul. Erzul does the through ball, not necessarily to, to Aubameyang, but the through ball or the pass that no one else sees is to Saka to give him to, the ball to Aubameyang to score. Mm-hmm. That happens all the time in training. Imagine that happens all the time in training. So he's the linchpin. Now we go to play the match. There's no Erzul. We've been you know, you saw who the Erzul was today. Kabayos, it was to... Eddie and Ketia. Ketia. Yeah, number 10. T- terrible. So That was the best final third pass Arsenal have played this season. Exactly. Exactly. So we're, we're relying on Eddie and Ketia to play our number 10, but in training, he's training as a striker. But he did a better job than everyone else who's done that job this year. Yeah, he did a great through ball, but it just doesn't make sense. Like, why are you using Ozil in training then? If that's the case, he should be training... Don't train. Urzel Don't. was known as the best in the world at that one job that Arsenal need doing. Yeah. That that season at Real Madrid when he was under Mourinho was he was impeccable. Bro, that that first like two years at Arsenal, he was a beast. Yeah, he was good. 
He was he, he was he was creating for Giroud. And I, I mean, he was creating for he was creating for well, actually Walcott was injured most of that time, but he was creating for everybody. Podolski, Welbeck, Welbeck yeah. But we've got players like Pepe and Aubameyang, runners who run in behind the striker, and you need a player like Urza. Very light on his feet, is he? You might need this. So much for my day off. Chew on this, Jack! Eyes up, lad. So we carry on then. Whoops, a daisy. Well, back, yeah. We've got players like Pepe and Aubameyang, runners who run in behind the striker, and you need a player like Urzel to unlock the pass. And Pepe you, runs behind the... Who, no, where does Pepe run? Players like who can make that run, like faster strikers, who, who can run off the striker, hmm. compared to someone like Giroud, who's just going to hold up the ball. And you're not what did you think of Pepe today? Oh, here's Deli Ali. Here's oh, Deli Ali. He's carrying the ball. Oh, he's been fouled by Fabinho, but Lucas Moura carries it, and no, he's going to kick it back for the free kick. What, what's what the, did you think of? What's the minutes still, game? eighty-seven minutes. What do you think about Pepe today? He tried a few things. He tried to carry the ball here and there. It's like he's scared to beat a man, bro. Otto Paris says Pepe was so bad today. He was bad. Like yeah, he, it's like he's scared to beat the man. They'll give him the ball. He'll do that. He'll drop. He'll drop a shoulder. The ball's still there. Drop a shoulder. Drop a shoulder, and then pass it back to Maitland Niles. It's like, bro, take him on. It's like, take him on. You know the edge of the box. The worst he can do is foul you and you get a penalty. Hey, or he tackles you and then we drop back. We get back in position. You lose the apparently my ball. Apparently my stream is behind. Um, it probably is, yes, but I'm watching through the Virgin Media box. It's got its own Amazon Prime channel. Okay. And Eric Dyer's on free kicks. Tottenham aren't taking this seriously. Nah, I'm, last one, he almost hit oh yeah, top bins. Who saved them the other day? Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, you put it top pins, bro. How much injury time's going to be in this? Someone tell me how much injury time's in this game. Yeah, look, fucking had some, uh, Hades, Hades, Hades Meister or Hades Meister, I don't know what your name is. For a £17 million player, he was shocking. People want to act like the price doesn't matter. It fucking matters. Of course it matters. When you're ranking a player... Especially after a year. When a year's gone, you can start saying, okay, let's rank this player and let's think about his price tag. Definitely. First season, okay, cool. You can kind of you can kind of give him a Apparently price. Liverpool have scored Firmino. I'm just watching this. I'm guessing it's from this corner. Andrew Robertson's about to take. Best left back in the world, by you. Shout out, Poet. 99 Riz says, remember when Poet wanted to fight Steve-O over Pepe? Yeah. Well, I do. I was there. I was there. Those two have tried. Those two have nearly fought over a couple of players. Oh, Firmino's gassed. Did he score? Yeah. Liverpool are winning this league and they're doing it with half a team. And Manchester City are <laughs> fucking shit. shit. They're shit, man. They're bottling it. I can't. Pep Guardiola, is he done? <laughs> It's, oh, Pep Guardiola needs Pep Guardiola needs to come to Arsenal and make Arteta what? be the number two again. They're missing each other. They're missing each other, Tigo. The things Guardiola's now playing. Guardiola's team's playing more like Arteta's Arsenal than they did when Arteta was number two for Pep. He doesn't play. The, he doesn't play the six-second press anymore. He makes just play he makes, shit. He makes teams play now. Like you can have the ball. Okay, we're gonna try go. To, bro, they drew one one today with against West Brom at home. Yesterday, yeah, I, I I tuned into that game. I got home, tuned in. It was one nil, and I was like, I watched like four minutes of it. I was like, fuck this. This is Man City are not fun to watch now. This is just no, fucking it, ugly. Yeah, they was they was the best team to watch at one point. I used to enjoy watching their football. That shit now. That shit now. That shit now. Can't even blame it on the players because they still got half the half the best players in the league. That's shit now, man. 
Well, the whole blame it on the players things, I, f- I think, is funny. So someone tweeted, I think it might have added me or Filthy or something. They said, um, Arsenal, uh, you can't, how, how much can you blame Arteta's tactics when Arsenal players won't let him actually stick to a game plan because they keep getting sent off? At some point, it's the players' fault. I mean, I mean, they're not getting sent off because they're playing so well that, like, oh, can Tottenham score here? Can Tottenham score here? Oh, it's well, Allison's class. The best keeper in the world. Yeah, hundred percent. But the the but like when when Gabriel's getting sent off for second yellow card and he's just running fucking way short, attacking the the man on the halfway line twice, one to concede the goal, one yeah. to concede the red card. Who's telling him to stop doing that? Yeah, exactly. Granite Jack is grabbing a throat because he's frustrated because Arsenal are nil nil against Burnley. It's not like oh Arteta's tactics were not to get sent off. I don't think Arteta's tactics were to be nil to be nil nil in whatever minute that got sent off. Everyone, everyone right now, Tigo, all the, the whole fan base, the whole Arsenal fan base, a joke, man. All, everyone's clutching. Everyone's making for excuses. Not the That's Maybe not the whole fan base, just the vast majority of them. Yeah, but yeah, we're, we're not good enough, man. We're not good enough. We're not good enough. Fuck it. Not good enough. I hope these players are actually playing for him and they're not down in tools and we're just actually shit. Or I'd rather that. But fuck it. I, I'm kind of... At first, to be fair, I'm not even going to say it like... I don't, I'm not saying Arteta oh, at first. You know, Tigo. I'm filthy. I was like, I don't know what this Thunderbird. I don't know what this guy. He doesn't know anything about football. Like, he's not a manager. Da, 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 da. I didn't want him. First, when he came, I was like, you know, let me give this guy a chance. He's a young, he's a young, he's a he's a young manager. He played for Arsenal. He knows he knows what it means to play for Arsenal. He knows what the fans are going through. And I just, I still, it's, I just want that fairy tale ending for him, bro. I still want him to just succeed in some kind of way, bro. I would like for him to be a good manager. Um, and, and I think he's going to be a good manager in years to come. That's the thing. I just think he's just bit enough, a bit more he can chew. That's a good win for Liverpool. Great win. That's a great win for Liverpool. Mentally. Tottenham, well. Tottenham should be furious. Tottenham should be furious. To give away the fucking draw that late in the game, that is fucking... That's, that's a, a big howler. Big howler. Yeah, but listen, man, I, I want Arteta to be good. I just, I, and I said this on Twitter and people were like, oh, what do you know, right? I don't think Arteta is coaching with his own personality right now. I think he had that mentality of, I'm a young manager, my first job, the senior players might not respect me enough, so I'm going to come in and just be, bang, I'm a big man, I'm a harsh man, I'm fucking, don't get away with shit with me. And if you look at the difference in his personality from the first couple of months of him being manager and now, and the way that he treats players, mm. it's kind of changed. You know, it's not. It just ain't right, bro. It's not they say I don't. I don't think there's a lot of fun being had at that club. Yeah, because when he first came, he was like it was all about the family, the club. You could see him. He's nurturing, talking to players, coaching them, doing smiling, one. having fun. Yeah, yeah hugging yeah. them as they come off that pep, that pep thing of like hugging them as they come off and da da da. And, and and I'll say this, I met Mikel Arteta a few years ago. Um and he, he's just a he's a nice guy. He has fun, he's he's got banter, he's he's a serious person, you can tell, mm. but he's this this guy, I don't recognize him. Don't recognize him from the the player Arteta, I don't recognize him from the person I met, I don't recognize him from the manager he was when he first took over Arsenal. I don't recognize this guy. Yeah, but he's got a lot of pressure on his shoulders, though, Tigo. So he has to act as if, as if he's the big man. He can't be fucking around all the time, especially when your team's losing. But when, you're, when your team feels uncomfortable, bro, when your f- team feels like they're a fucking uh, a burden to you, when the players feel like, oh, there's nothing I can do right, they, won't res- they don't respond to that shit. Especially the young ones, anyway. Well, the young ones you might be all right with because they, they don't know anything else. And he's got any, I guess now Lundberg was the fucking the coach when they were playing, wasn't he? Yeah. Like, he was shit. You didn't know what he was doing. He just, he just filled in. He was shit. No, but he was the coach of like Saka when Saka was in the youth team. He was oh, the yeah, yeah, coach yeah, yeah. of um, Willock and all Willock. these players. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know, man. Arsenal, I guess we can wait for 
Specs Specs is going to have a unique perspective on it. Who cares about Specs, man? Fucking know, one day he's hot, one day he's cold, bro. I don't, I don't, I, I, what does that mean? One day he's Arteta in now, he's fucking, get him out! Get, I don't know, man. It feels like, I'm, I'm tired, bro. I'm tired. I don't know how Sounds sad. Is. It's just, it's what it is now. It's just like, it's, it's Full- that we actually are in a relegation battle. Like, no, you're happen. not. You're not in a relegation battle. Oh, Tigo, bro, come on, man. We're down but, there, bro. Relegation battle. Sad. It's just is what it is now. It's just like it's it's Full- that we actually are in a relegation battle. Like, it no, you're happen. not. You're not in a relegation battle. Oh, Tigo, bro, come on, man. We're down but, there, bro. Doesn't make you. Are we going to beat Everton? Probably not. Are we going to beat Chelsea? Probably not. Exactly. Yeah, but but the 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 bottom four is Fulham, Burnley, West Brom, and Sheffield United. Ah, but bruv, West Brom just fucking plucked a point out of nowhere. So did you? Exactly. Points are there to be won. Nah, man. I think nah. We're in a relegation battle, man. We are, we are. So, and, and people, you can't deny it. What, because we're Arsenal? Yeah, we're Arsenal Football Club, but fucking hell, switch us with Southampton. Everyone will say Southampton's in a relegation battle. If you're in a relegation battle, Miles, you have to sack your manager. Oh, boy. I don't, they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. Because they're not... No, no but you, you as a fan have a decision to make. Oh, bro, it is what it is now. I can't do anything now. I can't do anything, Tigo. I can't no one's saying you want to do anything. No, I'm not going to say sack him. If whatever happens, happens now. Whatever, something has to change. So, if they say they want to sack the manager, then I, I personally don't want him to get sacked. But if he gets sacked, then cool. Work, work, whatever. All right, sit down. I don't mm. want him to get sacked. Bro. I don't want him to mm. get sacked. I'll be honest. I don't want him to get sacked. I don't want him to get sacked. I still think he can do big things at this club or take us to that level, like at least near enough to top four and then somebody else of, from, of, of bigger stature will take over. But I don't think he should, he should have ended like this for Arteta, man. He did so well at the fucking back end of the season, at the beginning at the end of the season, just to go from there to there. Bro, bro, you look at the way he did it though, bro. I know. Like, bro. I know you want to pretend that, that it was like, because it was fun. It wasn't great. Because you were having fun watching Arsenal scrap against Liverpool. Because you were having fun watching Arsenal scrap against Man City. You ignored what was happening. What the product on the pitch was. You ignored it. Uh, But at a time where we were shit, we were losing games, so we needed just... just, just, You just needed to feel good, didn't it? You just needed to get the wins. I get it. And I thought, okay, cool. He's got these bunch of players. He's not working with them. Like he doesn't know them really. Six is, is six months of working out his, his philosophies. Six months of working out personalities, new players. I'm gonna play like this. Grind out these results. Won a cup. Great. We're gonna kick on from here. That's what I thought it was. That's what all of us thought it was gonna be. Okay, he's gonna kick on. Yeah, I I I had a feeling that if he could keep the spirit in the team the same. He could he could be a one nil guy this season and grind out a place in the top four, knowing that Chelsea was still young, they had a lot of player turnover, knowing that Tottenham had some personality concerns in the summer with Deli Ali with Ndombele, knowing that uh, Leicester just are a bit shit, especially after the way they bottled last season. Knowing that Manchester United still had that guy as manager, there was this opportunity to grind out a top four spot. But Easy. in twenty in twenty twenty, in a COVID year where games are coming thick and fast, those one nils they're a lot fucking harder to come by than than they are in the lead up to the end of last season. And let's be honest, before COVID, Arteta had lost to Olympiacos. 
Yeah. Got COVID. <laughs> it's not like it's this really, is yeah, this thing, ain't this I'm ain't out of nowhere. This ain't out of nowhere. So you say that again? This is not out of nowhere. Yeah, but that game. Okay, cool. We lost. It's cup football, whatever, isn't it? I mean, it happens. You, you know, know what, Miles? I'm sick of you talking about fucking Arsenal. Oh fucking hell! You bringing in he's got wanky bringing in now. I need to bring in a winner. Oh, Harry. All he does is win. All his team does is win. Even when people think they're not going to win, he jumps in. Bring that shit, baby. Young Boy, Rottweiler. Baby. <laughs> look, look, look. look at the new name. <laughs> the boy man, I'm those motherfuckers. Uh, you don't know I don't tweet during games, but um, I swear we're the only team trying to play football to win it. You know? Yes, I fucking hundred percent agree. We're the only team trying to play. Tottenham had twenty forty percent in the whole game of the ball. Yes. It was a boring game to watch, but yes, I don't think it's going to be easy though. Honestly, don't think just it's only be- only because the fixtures are coming. Like, I mean, like, yeah. Otherwise, and Mourinho knows how to win, man. He's scary. Like, I was scared for that whole game. I'll be honest. Yeah, when they had those two chances, I was thinking. But honestly, he he needed to take one of them. Yeah, yeah, Bergwijn, innit? Yeah. And or the, Har- the Harry Kane one as well. That's come on. Mm. And then, and how much are they paying for Bell? How much are they paying for him? I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. That, that seems like that was a morale boost. That's just for the for the club. I, I might agree with that, yeah, but Zidane weren't wrong, you know. It don't look like... It don't no, look like he doesn't look wrong. Was he, he playing doesn't look, No. Oh, okay. okay. Fair enough, yeah. Do you get it? Like, he's done like 500k a week, you know. Yeah, uh, but really, if it's not broke, don't fix it. He's got a good system there right now. So, why, mm. who, who's going who's gonna to replace him? Who's, who's, but who's, there's who's, subs, though. There's subs. Yeah, he makes subs. He, Lucas started today. Remember, we no, he came on. Lucas came oh, on. Yeah, yeah. Today. yeah, yeah. But lads, Bell's gonna get what? games. Yeah. He's gonna get games. Bell's gonna get games. He's gonna get. He doesn't games. look. Like, he doesn't look good. He doesn't look good. He don't look good against the small teams. You got to know. Like, no, not now. That was who he did most of his dirt against. <laughs> what, what I'm That's talking like a- this season. Yeah, yeah. I thought he scored two goals. One goal, two. Bale. Yeah. Has he scored any goals? Europa League. Scored. Europa yeah, League, maybe. Yeah, yeah, man. I think Spurs have been ripped off. Mm. But they, I think they're a good title. They're a serious title contender. You you oh, are. You, you did say they had the second best squad in the league. I th- uh, <laughs> you did say that. And they're fucking second uh, in the league. They, they are a very, very good team. And Mourinho, I think Man United needed to give him more time. Not even time, just patience. You know what I mean, innit? But they needed, yeah. they needed to pick him over Pogba, let's be honest. Yeah, that's 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 it. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Pogba or Jose. Jose's a winner, winner. Like, I think Spurs will pick up a trophy this year. Sorry, yeah, Arsenal. They, they knocked Chelsea out the League Cup already. Yeah, they, oh yeah, they did. Yeah, oh, I think they're gonna pick up a trophy, and when they do pick up a trophy, like what are you lot gonna say? Oh, well done. <laughs> I bet you don't. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on what trophy they pick up, though. It depends on the trophy they pick up. If you pick up a Carlin Cup, I don't give a shit about that. You can celebrate. Yeah, no, I don't care. About, I don't care about Carlin or FA Cup. To be fair, but sure. obviously, if they win the FA Cup. Arsenal fans can't tell me no, I that's me because you lot have been no, 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 in my eyes. Lose you, talk, I've told you, bear time. That's a big cut to me. That's a that's a decent cut. That's a so if they win it, yeah, then yeah, that's a good cut. They'll take anything, they don't win, shit. they'll take anything. But personally, I think they might win the Europa League. That's a bit, bro. They win the Europa League, they're the biggest team in North London, bro. They're the biggest team in North London now, bro. Yeah, but. They're the best team in North London. Arsenal's the biggest because they've got like trophies. Nah, but they don't mean if the they win the Europa League, Arsenal's no. not one on the continent other than the inter- 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 intercontinental no, cup. No, no, it's it's cup. Cup. Yeah, it's, it's, it's abolished. 
No, it's, no, it was merged with the UEFA Cup to form the Europa League. But exactly. the UEFA, but when you win the Europa League, you get. No, the... Arsenal cannot let Tottenham win the Europa League. We can't. <laughs> I don't know how they're going to stop them. But that that cup is a big trophy, bro. Like, you know who really likes big that big trophy? Jose Mourinho. Mm. Jose. Yeah, yeah. Won it with Porto. Is it? Won it with United. Yep. Yeah. Oh, at least we won the Champions League that Paul. Yep. So he's he, got like, double Euro bank. That's a big scout, man. Big scout today. All them injuries. Yeah, Reese Williams Euro looked Euro. amazing. Did you watch the game? Reese Williams looked amazing. Yeah, he did. He looked all right. Curtis Jones looked good. God, I, what did I say about everyone of Curtis Jones? <laughs> what did I say? You had him too. You see no, what I'm saying? Six what I'll say about Curtis Jones is, yeah, what Phil Foden is probably a better player than him. But what Curtis Jones is doing in this Liverpool team, he's fitting in a, in a system where he... Like, Foden's a luxury player, isn't it, per se? Isn't it? He's a, like, he's higher in the pitch. My man's in centre midfield, like, in in important players' positions and we're winning games and he's not looking at a position. Uh, he's 19, 18. Yeah, he looks good. Top, top player. Top. Like, the vote next year, he's going to be top three. Yeah. Yeah, 19 years old. 19, like, bro. Uh, they're different. I think Saka they could work well. Saka did a, he did a hazy run right for everybody. Boom, boom, boom. I think Saka's so dope, though. I think he's so dope. I think, like, Saka, Greenwood, Martinelli, um, Curtis Jones, they're the elite England lot. Martinelli, you reckon? But in English, in the Premier League, I think he's quality, Martinelli. I think he's quality, though. He's, he's going to be the saviour for us. Oh, we need Martinelli. He's not going to be the saviour. He can't defend. He's going to be the saviour. I, I, I don't, don't, don't want to overhype this because he's jumped in and he's jumped out again, so I'm not even going to overhype it. Forget that. Don't worry about it. Someone was oh. backstage waiting to come in. Oh, well, where I was? Yeah. Right here, buddy. So, Lewis, what's going on with you, though, bro? How's the war going? Huh? How's the war going? The (laughs) war? Loons versus the whole of Twitter versus Instagram. Yeah, you know, I'm undefeated. <laughs> I'm gonna like, I'm gonna retire off all socials like undefeated. Like, <laughs> were you? Wait, question: Were you on Twitter before you started this Twitter? Have you ever mm-hmm. been on Twitter before? Mm-hmm. I didn't think so. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, I didn't. <laughs> you do not play by any rules. No man, Mogs is like you got. You can't be like Mogs is trying to like police me on Twitter. Like, you know, when I had no followers and that, and he'd be like, bro, just delete that, man. What are you talking about? Just delete that. You can't say that. Like, I was a dude. Like, I don't know what. You know what I'm saying, isn't it? Hold on. Let me throw him in, even though he's going to drop out straight away. Boys, what's going on? Can you hear me? Yeah. He's looking, everybody, he's, he's looking for his boots. What boots? What? <laughs> Can you hear us, Alex? You're getting chased. <laughs> Boys, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Can you hear us? Yeah. Oh, let me put. Let me put. Let me put, let me put wait, wait there. Wait there. Wait there. Wait there. Let me put somebody oh. serious in the chat. Savage Daniel, man, like Dan, you know. Who's saying, fellas? Who won that game? Liverpool. Liverpool. Two one. Title done. Arsenal was shit. <laughs> <laughs> What did Arsenal? What did, did Arsenal fully lose? No, nah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, that's what I noticed, man. You like everyone tweets when they concede, but no one tweets when they score. <laughs> <laughs> man, I still thought it was one nil. <laughs> because because we know what's happening. Is, we ain't winning the game yet, so you can't get gassed of it. I'm saying, just got to it. Bro, and this is what I'll say. I'm new to Filthy, innit? So, I don't really comment when the game's going on, yeah? Or if I'm playing later than you, I won't cuss your team on Twitter or in the group. No one gets this, yeah? It's Loon's bad. Filthy, but that's too man to a lot. It's cowardly. <laughs> that's too safe, Loons. Yeah, Bro, cowardly. it's not safe. 
I du- look, I dub you lot in the safety of my home. I dub you lot when we got the points. You play Sunday, and we play Saturday and win. I tell you how I feel about y'all. Do you know nah, what I mean? You gotta risk it. You gotta nah. risk it. Is it sweet up? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bro, we didn't win the league for 30 years, bro. Man, you start me at the start of every season. Are you winning the league? Yes. Uh, yep, yep. No, Liverpool fans no. Hold on. Now, let me just say. Let me just show no, you. No, no, I say you need to finish more. Hey, wow. Fuck, that's sick. I sent me that. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this, Ego. Watch this. There he is. There he is. <laughs> 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 How do I get that? Hold on. Hold on. I'm in the process. 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 i Am I going to be on No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 you know, I've got one of the moaniest birds on the planet, man. <laughs> hey, hey, do you know what's mad, yeah? I just come in, yeah? My chick don't know I'm in the house. What? So she's, 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 she's in another room with her brethren. Um... <laughs> I, I, I want to because I don't like it because then when they come in, what you're gonna see when she comes in, she's gonna be like, "Oh, I didn't know you was here." Like, "Oh my, oh," you and it's just stupid girl talk. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't need. Yeah. To, I'd rather sneak in my own house. <laughs> but you're not loud though. You shout, man. You literally shouting like because they're shouting because they're shouting. They can't hear me. <laughs> you sat there in the fleece in your house, like you sat there in the fleece, like <laughs> undercover <laughs> police. Oh, I can leave. They won't know. I can leave. Go in out. Did you bring anyone in? <laughs> I'm mean, his friend, though. The biggest. That would be the biggest. Uh, An away home fix job. Can you imagine? <laughs> That's like so terrible. Zero, you know, in our inter versus AC, this uh, <laughs> change changing you know? rooms, in it. Change changing rooms. I think I could do it. No, that I'm game getting called off, bro. Bro, what a log no. pitch, bro. What a log pitch. If there's anyone that can play that kind of game, it's me. Look what I get away with. Look, look, bro. This is crushed velvet, bro. <laughs> this is not bad, bro. Like, as in, I can do this. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Man. She's not worried, but she's just cutting her eyes, bro. She's still (laughs) cutting. You just made her watch Liverpool versus Tottenham. And now. (laughs) now I had to watch it on my phone, bro. Oh, really? Bro. I had to watch it on my phone, bro. I'm like, 18% now, bro. Phone got hot. (laughs) But when you watch it on your phone. You can just watch your screen when it's looking bad. You know what I mean? On corners, I was just looking my screen. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not really on it. I'm not really on it. Hey, what are you doing? What? So what was this fucking chat? What am I supposed to do? Chat and shit. Sorry, lads. Cheese wonky. A what? The tree's wonky. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. They, they, they love all of that talk. Is it, is it a tree up there? Yeah. I'm not hiding. I'm on a lie. What is that? Who's hiding in his own house? You're in front, you're in front of five prisoners now. Hey, boy, 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 look at this. See this butter knife? Yeah. No how. Yeah, this is this bit. Where is it? Yeah, the butter knife, yeah. She yeah. wanted to cut that. See that stalk. What? She wants me to cut the stalk with the butter knife. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm from the streets. I know I'm from the streets, yeah. But she thinks I'm well versatile in this knife game. You... <laughs> Are you like? Are you like? I forgot about. 
I'm going to fix this and be back in a minute, boys. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh. oh, that's amazing. The actual line as well. Why are you sneaking in? <laughs> yeah, <what? laughs> All right, you know the best thing about it though? Because I knew it was going to happen, I'm just so well prepared for it. Yeah. <laughs> We're sons, daughters, husbands, wives, healing, supporting, saving lives. We're training, skills, support, team, development, fulfillment, pride, esteem. We are you at your very best. We are the NHS. Brand new whip, just hopped in. I got options. I'ma spend this holiday locked in. Sports in the top ten. Got a career and I'm very invested. Some people call it a scary obsession. Need to be getting some traction. What's poppin'? I know. Because I knew it was going to happen, I'm just so well prepared for it. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, away games, these are these are the kind of games you know how to win. You know how to get back in your own house after an away game. I was just training. I come from football. But I'm just saying, you know how to... Anyone who's played home and away fixtures knows how to get back in the good books. So did you sneak? I walked. It was a sneak, but it won't have looked like a sneak. Okay. You know a, a, a brisk and walk. Up. And now my daughter's. I can hear my daughter. Come in, big head. Look at this. What a mess. <laughs> she just stayed out, man. She just stayed out. She heard your voice. That's why. <laughs> but hopefully she goes to the seven girls that's in my house. Yeah, that's what? where she should go. How many, Dan? Yeah. She wants to see you. She needs daddy, yeah. She needs <laughs> come on, big head. This is okay. Come, okay. No, I don't yeah, whatever. <laughs> come on, big head. This is okay. Come, okay. No, I don't yeah, whatever. <laughs> she needs daddy, yeah. She needs <laughs> come on, big head. This is okay. Come, okay. No, I don't yeah, whatever. <laughs> she stopped crying to be fair of course she just needs that no sort of shake and talk today boys I no, no. <laughs> Timo Timo <laughs> Werner Timo Werner and Kai Havertz what are you saying a lot of Chelsea fans are questioning it now then there's a uh, what Timo there's a compilation of his misses already, bro. I don't know. Uh, look, I don't have a problem with players that get the chances. Uh, yeah. But he's missed. He's missed a few sets. Like, what can we say in it? Like, he knows it. We know it. There's no. Sometimes you gotta own these things. Has he missed one that's cost you, cost you a fixture yet? No. I don't and think somehow, he has. No. And somehow, by the by the end of the game, he's somehow manages to create a goal. Mm. Do you see know what I'm saying? Like, it's like he misses the chances and then he makes an assist. Big up Bitcoin as well, because Bitcoin's just surged past $21,000. All right, Lumos. Big up. Hey, Lumos. We fucked it, man. We don't have any Bitcoin. <laughs> you don't have any Bitcoin? <laughs> we only got shit coins. That is oh, it. really? <laughs> nah, they're on the move as well. Everything's on the move, but it's just... Yeah. Bitcoin, when do you When do you cash out? 2022 for me. I'm probably going to cash out in January and then cash back in. Is that what Lumos has advised you to do? Lumos is Jamaican, man. And like he's a, he's a Jamaican who wears a wooden chain and loafers and black fingerless gloves. I've seen it with my own eyes, which yeah. means I can only take so much of his advice. Yeah. You know, he, you know, he, 
he doesn't actually have any bitcoins. They're all it's all in a partner. So of him course. and all his friends, they will share. They they rotate the bitcoin. You have the right, bitcoin for six months. Of course, yeah. Um, and you know, for somebody who has such good advice, I cannot understand how the man is not rich. Lumos, I know you're in here. He's there. He's telling yeah. me to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> for fuck's sake, yeah. Lumos. Get out of what's that um, clubhouse? Giving advice to people. Oh yeah, that's what he does. He sits in crypto rooms. Yeah, crypto you rooms. You got you got Lumos, man. Man. Tigo, Tigo, you got Bitcoin? No. Tigo, none of that. It's the it's, 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 I don't know how I got drawn into it. Is this something you need to stay on top of? I didn't, and I went from, uh, I, I started, I went up to 70, bro, do you know how mad it was, yeah? I, I caught it in, like, 2017, and from, like, 15 grand, I promise you, within a week, I was on a beach trading. And it went to 75 bags. And then in a week, it was gone. Mm. <laughs> it was... <laughs> Bro, the whole 75. It went back. It, it went down to like five bags. So why you never take it out? It happened too fast. <laughs> <laughs> you bottled it. Bro, I bottled it. So you see like when you start looking at it, be like, nah, it's just, a, it's just gonna, it's gonna go back up. Yeah. And it just kept going down. And you start freaking, nah, I can't take it out now. That's cowardly. And yeah, all of a sudden, started. You got to stick it out, though. I stuck it out. And now it's back up. It's not anywhere near flipping. It's, it's more than what I initially invested, but it's nowhere near the 75 that it was. But I remember that time. I remember I remember, I remember. being in Manchester, listening to a podcast, talk about the rise and rise and rise, and then just being like, look, it's an Easter egg. As soon as someone cracks it, there's nothing inside. So, yes. so as soon as someone does crack it, it will come back up again, and then someone will crack it, look inside, there's nothing there. Then it will go down. Then it will come back up. Then, so I'm just like, I get that that's basically what the stock market is anyway. But I'm just at the moment, I'm put, I'm investing in valuable things like trainers because I think they're due to rise in price over the next couple of years. Being serious, huh? No, I'm not. No. Because you know, you know, do you know who would say that? Do you know who would agree with you on that point? Craig Mitch. <laughs> Lumos, Lumos says, "I do know what I'm talking about." Banter aside, to the crowd, Lumos is recruiting. Lumos is, is in the man. comments for recruiting. Yeah, that's it. He's the joining the, the crowd and he's pulling people out of the crowd. So, listen, guys, <laughs> <laughs> come to come to my crypto room yeah. on Clubhouse. We're going to with... see a Lumos crypto. Do you know Lumos was? I think he might have made his own crypto. Lumos, can you confirm if you made your own crypto? And I think it was worth like not point not 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 one pounds, but he was going to inflate the price price so that everyone could get a higher price, and then he was probably going to suck it, and everyone gets bumped. Yeah, come, come, click on Lumos. We're going to need to hear you explain this one because I get DMs. People fo- like people will phone me out of nowhere. They'll be like, "Hello," and I'll be like, "Hello," and then I'll say my name, and they'll go, "Oh, you uh, made an inquiry about how to trade forex." No, no, I definitely didn't. Oh, all right. But anyway, would you like to trade Forex? I'm like, nah. nah. <laughs> How did you get my number, bro? Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, these do not sound like, like people that should tell shit to you on the phone. No offense. It's Lumos' friends, man. It's Lumos and his brethren. Lumos, if you're fucking sending my number out there, I'm going to be very pissed. Yeah. Not, well, the, I'm going to buy a fucking game. Bitcoin and shut you down. Yeah. Can't trust the yeah. man. People are asking. People, there's a lot of people in the crowd that have stuff to do with Bitcoin. You know, there's I loads. believe it. Everyone's talking Bitcoin talk, but I'm a risky man by nature. I'm a risk. I'm a risk taker. I had everything in offline wallets in 2017. Everything was secure, and because everything was so far stacked away, it meant that when I needed to get the money out, because it was going from 75 to five, it was taking me three days to do it. By which no. time. We're at five grand. So now I do what you shouldn't do and I keep pretty much all of my portfolio on Open. on an exchange. Hoping, basically in a bank account, in a current account, essentially. Hoping that it doesn't get hacked. And you've not got you've <laughs> not got you've not got Bitcoin, but you've got crypto. 
yeah, I've got Ethereum, I've got a bit of Ripple. Ripple, you shouldn't fuck a Ripple anyway. But there's better, there's loads, there's loads. That I've, there, I've got like eight. I I once did a job and stayed in a hotel for the job where it was a, like a cryptocurrency convention. That was the whole Lumos hotel. I know oh, Lumos was there on my life. I know Lumos was there. All right, I'm going to add Lumos to the chat in one second. I'm just going to say that my observation that day was that that cryptocurrency convention should have been renamed the Sad Single Dads Convention. Yeah. Lumos, do you want to sell uh, Bitcoin to the crowd? <laughs> hey, listen, yeah. I don't compare this shit to Forex for one because I'm not trying to... I don't try to recruit people to anything in terms of the benefiting. I just see opportunity for everyone to make peas, innit? So... My phone's it. But like Dan said... He was all up. Why is she so angry, Dad? Yeah, mommy. yeah, that was you. Yeah, she's angry at Lou. Mommy, dumb. Yeah, mommy, dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was you. Yeah, peas in it. So my phone started. It. But like Dan said, he was all up. Why is she so angry, Dad? You know, yeah, yeah, that was you. Yeah, she's that angry at Lou. <laughs> Mommy, yeah, mommy, dumb. on his feet, is he? You might need this. So much for my day off. Chew on this, Jack! Eyes up, lad. Shall we carry on, then? Whoops, a daisy. This is, the, oh. this is what it's all about, though. This is how you get your wins. Sneaky <laughs> little wins. Little one nil Mourinho wins. Saying stuff like, mommy's so silly. And then she got mommy silly. And that's... <laughs> oh, this guy, daddy. Honestly, I do, you know what? I, I'm not sure if there's any women in the, in the crowd. I need to know what women do with their days. <laughs> He's been serious. Always, I'm always busy. But I don't understand what they're doing. I agree. I do agree. Because then there's football. They don't watch football and they don't play PS5. <laughs> so that's why, I'm, that's why I've got I've got all the or they don't have Xbox. They barely read. Like, they barely read. They barely read. They're in a group chat, so probably on the gram, isn't it? Yeah. But it's just, or on YouTube, or on YouTube. What do you think their um their phone usage looks like? Because mine is always, you know, seven hours or whatever it is, which is more than it needs to be. But a good point, yeah. Mine's mine's about five beast legal letter that said you've got one year to sue us. If you don't sue us in that year, you can't sue us because they warned you. I think Apple are doing that. I think Apple know that AirPods are fucking up people's ears sit on you I think they're saying you got one year to sort this out because we warned you we warned you this wasn't okay <laughs> yeah wait do you know what uh someone in the comments said that the northwest um what is mad and I remember yeah some people might not remember but I remember do you remember BMD Miles yeah of course it's North Easy yeah do you remember yeah, when he tried to make his own play, actually. do you remember when he made his own water yeah, North North North, 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 North Weezy Water. Oh, <laughs> Beckham Springs. Bro, I couldn't believe it. On my life, yeah. When I saw it as in like 
at what point are you gonna let this thing go? Do you know what I'm saying? Like North Weezy water. Yeah. <laughs> How do you, who wants to you drink that? Off, and and some of some of the bottles were in housing, in the housing shops. Yeah, they were they, they were only sold in Northwest, obviously. Yeah, North, North Weezy War. <laughs> You've got such a small target market. Yeah, I'm not buying that shit. What he was thinking, like, what is he doing? The yeah. bottle was bottle was battered. Bottle was just, battered. It looked like he was just getting his own bottles, putting it under a tap, just screwing it, and just send, send it to the shop. Just to, just to, yeah, just to help everyone out. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. And it's, I know Dark Wars, it sounds like I'm talking about some mad DVD documentary. No, it's a film with Mark Ruffalo and Anne Hathaway. It's not like I just went to my DVD man who smokes too much weed and said, give me a movie that's going to fuck me up. And all the people say, fluoride's in toothpaste. Yeah, unhealthy amounts of fluoride is very poisonous to human beings. That's not conspiracy. That's just science. Did you and know mercury? Is- mercury as well? Mercury, yeah. Yeah, yeah, people can die from mercury poison from eating fish. Yeah, too much tuna, Lumos. Too much. Careful. And um, <laughs> yeah, apparently, apparently, the poison that the, the company was kicking out and the company was a is a merged company. It was from Dow Chemical and someone else. I forget what they're called. Apparently, like that poison now exists in ninety nine percent of creatures living on planet Earth because of how much they pumped into the environment. So because it- they. Yeah, it was, it was, a, yeah, it's massively poisonous. Yeah, it was an overrun from making Teflon. This company made Teflon, and basically, what it, it left over a, uh, a chemical that, um, yeah, that, that chemical is super poisonous and was being pumped into the waters. And it's in 99% of you living people right now. And so, yeah, DuPont, DuPont, that's the company. There's the company which was a merger between. Dow Chemical and somebody just I just I don't want anyone thinking I'm a conspiracy theorist. I'm definitely not. I'm just I am. Watch this one. You are, yeah. Uh I heard somebody really try to argue me uh the other day that the earth is flat. Not flat, but a dome because you watch Simpsons. Mugs. <laughs> oh yeah, Mugs a flat earther as well, isn't it? Who else was a flat earther in the group that day? I don't know, but people can't just keep saying stuff. No, no, but someone who does just keep saying stuff is West Ham's favourite fan, Jordy. What's going on, lad? Uh-oh. Lumos, Dan, Mark, how are you? What's going on? Uh, don't talk to me, man. Don't talk to me. <laughs> yeah, you two need to sort this out. Pay this man. You know what, o'clock, Mars? You're a sick liar. <laughs> terrible. Oh, huh? I'm going to let you land. I've landed. You're a sick liar. You're very good at it. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm lying. He Did Jordy ask out of that bet? Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> hmm? Jordy, we never, had, we never had that conversation, Jordy. Yeah, I'll tell you what conversation we had. We was in Primrose Hill, and you said, Jordy, I think I want to back out of this bet, you know. I said, Miles, if you want to back out of this bet, you have to say it publicly. Does anybody remember the last bet you backed out of, Miles? I've never backed out of any bet. I think you have. If you remember Half right. Half the, uh, the one where well, I raised the stakes. Oh, wait. Did you lose it? Who lost it? Who when mean, somebody bro? was supposed to go last... No, no, no. So Scribs it's, lost that one. Oh, it's well, look, look, uh, look, Yinka, look at Yinka in the chat. Yinka oh my god, I was there. <laughs> yeah, you think I'm Yinka? Get out of here, man. Oh, well done. Yinka, go. Well done. Because well, Yinka now, says his gospel is gospel. No, bro. What's gospel? I remember I like you it. said, you know what, Mars? I think I might lose this bet, you know. And I said to you, why would I say when was Primrose Hill? Let's do the timeline. When was Primrose Hill? That Before was the season good. start. Yeah. Huh? Before what was the, the season bet? The bet was that United would finish above us, Arsenal. It was during the season was when Man United was doing shit. It was after the first game of the season. Wasn't, was, there, another time when, wasn't there another time when it was filming and you stretched out your hand and said, shake my hand now, you can cancel it or something like that. I swear that. 
When was that? This one might as well admit it, but it's fine. It's fine. If you don't want to pay two bills, that's fine. Just know I'm going to look at you differently from now on. No, no, he's got to pay the bill. He's got to pay the money. Or, I slam him, babe. Dan's got a forfeit. Dan's got a forfeit. There is the... I would double this before I can't do it. You'll double it? You want to double it? Oh, my God. How can you... Go on, man. <laughs> Go on, man. I said I would double this before I cancel this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jeez. He said, oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> he, he seems to be like, oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> double it, then. <laughs> you don't mean that. You don't want this. Because this guy cancelled it, but everyone's going to go against me. So cool, whatever, isn't it? I'll pay him. No. Money. No, don't, <laughs> don't go from zero to double because you've lost. <laughs> Try to lie and say, all right, no, I'll fuck it, I'll pay you. Lying. Lying. Do you know why you're lying? Because I watched you in the last chat, you said, no, Jordy cancelled it, but it's fine, I'll pay him, it's fine. What? What's that? <laughs> don't make What's sense. Oh, uh, well, you're so it right. Sense. It's fine, don't worry, man. Nah, we worry. Don't worry. We will talk. No, no, we no. Worry. You know what? Let's clear. Let's clarify now. Wait. Let's clarify now. Is this bet on? I said the same thing to you, Jordy. Nah, it's you're on. you're taking a piss with these answers. You're taking a piss. <laughs> What's going on? Why, why am I by myself here? <laughs> Focus on Miles. <laughs> Set the stage. Look at him, Miles. Miles, is this bet on? <laughs> I can't I can't do this. Give me two minutes. Man, <laughs> offer him off Julie, offer him the cash out. I told you uh, the cash out is the cash out is now a bill. That's good. I'll, I'll cash out, Miles. Fuck that, man, no, I'll bill. This guy, ask Lumos, ask Lumos how you can rise up a bill using cryptocurrency. <laughs> <laughs> right. You give you give him a hundred, he takes a hundred from someone else, then they take a hundred from someone else. Now you've got three hundred, but in two months you gotta pay back like one hundred. <laughs> Hello, viewers. I'm James May, and I can't cook. Welcome to my cookery show. So there you go, we've learned nothing. From someone else. Now you've got. That's good. I'll, I'll catch out, Miles. Fuck that, man. I'll oh, build. This guy. Ask Lumos. Ask Lumos how you can rise up a bill using cryptocurrency. <laughs> <laughs> right. you, give, you give him a hundred. Yeah. He takes a hundred from someone else, then they take a hundred from someone else. Now you've got three hundred, but in two months you gotta pay back like one hundred. Hey, stop! Stop this part of propaganda immediately. <laughs> I was, I was gonna say your wallet. That's partner. Hey, stop! Hundred from someone else, then they take a hundred from someone else. Now you've got three hundred, but in two months you gotta pay back one hundred. Hey, stop! Stop this partner propaganda immediately. <laughs> I was gonna say your wallet. That's partner crypto bank. <laughs> All right, Jamaican banks in Brixton now. What? Yeah, they've been Jamaican banks in Brixton. Yeah. Jamaican National's been there for a minute. And Victoria Where? Mutual. Where in, where in Brixton has it been? Victoria Mutual and Jamaica National has been there since I've moved there. Jamaica National's now just opened up uh, on that corner next to Academy. What did you just say? You live in Brixton? Who, me? Hmm. No, not, not right now. I used to for a bit. But when I first moved to London, there was Victoria Mutual was thinking about. Where? In Brixton. Yeah, where? thanks. Thanks, Lumos. In London. <laughs> Anyway, I'm pretty sure it's um on the same the same strip where the Morleys and Pearl Bay is on the same same block. Sure. All right, that's Brixton High Street. Okay. <laughs> this, is is that... <laughs> this, is a, this is a great segment. 
Yeah, this is this is very this is this is bad local geography from Lumos who claims to have lived in Brixton once. All right, Dan, why can't you not beat teams above thirteenth? Because they're they're harder to beat. <laughs> 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 no, below 40. There you go, below. Uh, no, I, 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 above. Is it above or below? Above, yeah. There won't be anyone above. Oh, you lot of crap, man. You lot of crap. Uh, what did, Jordy, Miles, what do you think of Kai Havertz? I, I said it from the beginning. They didn't need him. It was a pointless buy. It was a pointless buy. I said that from the beginning of lockdown. Pointless buy. Hmm. I don't think it was that pointless, and I think he'll come good. Early days, man. I think I think he'll come good. Yeah. He, he's he's a good player. Player. And the he thing is, you know, secretly just, he puts in mad him. mileage. So there's this, like he he. I think in that first half against um Wolves, he actually put in the most distance on the pitch. So it's not a lack of work. I think it's just working out where he needs to be on this pitch to create chances. You're never gonna get as much time in the Prem as you are in the in the Bundesliga. So. It's going to take him a while to adjust, but I reckon he'll do it, honestly. Plus, COVID hurt him. Yeah. You can see that. Uh, Dan, Itaz Raja1705 says, Tigo, are you cool with Dylan White? Um, I guess he's saying that because of Brixton, but yes. no, I don't think I don't know if anyone's cool with Dylan White. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I don't know if Dylan White is cool with anybody. <laughs> I love him. I think yeah. he follows me on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, I think he knows that I think he's amazing, but no, I don't think we're, we're not cool. That's not enough for him. So, when, I'm, when, when, when you're around Dylan White, you're like, I don't think he likes anyone on planet yeah. Earth. He don't care. No, he don't give a shit. But do you know My what he, video. Do? He, he needs a constant ice cream. You see, like, there's some people that walk in and they're just quite happy and they kind of, like, they're in the room already. Dylan White walks in the room and he doesn't like the room. He needs an ice breaker. <laughs> He needs an icebreaker on the hour, every hour. If, if you Dad, really you want to keep him in that room. Do you remember, do you remember when we went to go into He's going to punch out Miles. He stuck, he stuck it on Miles. He stuck it on Miles. Tigo, Tigo, don't do this for the life. Tigo, he, he said... This is what said, happened. Dad, Dad, no, Shall I tell explain. it? No, no, because you, your stories are always fabricated. And it's it's the Dan it. version. Let me give him my... I was there. Fabricated. I was there. I know you were there. Tigo was there as well. All right, so um, well, you're my version, version then. Let me tell my version. Let me tell my version and let's see if Tigo agrees. Okay. Let me tell my right. version. And then you tell and we'll see you. if I agree. Someone, listen, boys, you have to let Mars go first because he won't let you land. No, go on, right. Mars. No, go on, Savage, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> the reverse psychology is so easy with Mars. <laughs> it's not. All right. It's not. I'm <laughs> I'm, I never. You pulled the bat out. You pulled the bat out. You pulled the bat. All right, double it. All right, double it. <laughs> it's so easy. No, nope. I'm Jordy. Right. I'm going to interject when he's wrong. All right, cool. We're, Not we're talking you mean. about we're talking about the Derek Chisora two fight, and out of nowhere, this is this is this is actually one of the days where Dillian White, after around five minutes of ice breaking, was cool. Is now. He's now responding. He's now he's funny. He's talking about um, you know, uh the popping pills comment that Tazora said, all of that kind of stuff, the laxity talk. And then out of nowhere, this is Miles. He goes, But I swear you said you was never gonna fight him again. You said that. You said that. Yeah. And did he look at him like, huh? He's just like Did he win the first fight? One sec, did he win the first? No, 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 what did you ask your question? No, one second. Did he win the first fight? Officially. He yes. did, not Yes. And yeah. I said to him, I said to him, it's on camera. I don't know if you'd have put it in. Yeah, you didn't put it in editing. I said to him, you said you wouldn't fight him again if you win the first fight. Then he said, I didn't say that. Then he said, then I said to him, yes, you did. Then he said, I didn't say that. Then I looked at Tigo, like, Tigo's looking at me like, don't do this. And I went, to, I went to say to him, Big man, you said that because I... <laughs> you didn't know what I said to me like that! No. <laughs> no. What, how dare you? No. Tigo, Tigo, listen, you I wanted to pick him. man off from your wife. I wanted to say to him, you did say that when his, knees, <laughs> when his knees were touching yours. When his knees were touching Dan's. <laughs> Tigo, was you giving me that look like, don't do that? Because I... Nah, you didn't know what I said to me like no. that! No. <laughs> what, no. what, how dare you? Tigo, Tigo, listen. You wanted to pick man off from your wife. 
I wanted to say to him, you didn't see when his knees, when his knees were touching yours, when his knees were touching Dan's. Digo, was you giving me that look like don't go toe to toe with him? Because I was no, I was giving you that look like, wow, how did you get here? That's why. You didn't have me there. I don't care if you're a boxer or not, bro. You said it. Jordy, if you said something on YouTube and I just watched it last night. Right. Well, I, oh, here, here, here's where I stepped in. 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 Dylan White went, when did I say that? Show me. Show me where I said that. And That's you went like this. Cool. You went like this. You looked at me, kind of had your phone. And I just went, definitely don't show him, us. Definitely <laughs> don't show him. Bro, you was risking the whole... Like, you was going to mess up the whole show. Like, you was... I wasn't going to miss up the whole show. I, I, just I bring him back. Like, you said you were never going to fight him. You, the question was, you said you was never going to fight him once you beat him. You already beat him. You've gotten over him. Why are you fighting him again? I didn't say that. Big man, it's on the YouTube. Did you, you ever said find it. this quote? Did you ever find it? Did you no, no, ever did find it? it. No, he did say it. He did he say it. He said that on YouTube. Say that all the time. He said it after the fight. No, he, he said, said he did. I knew, I knew at the time that he'd said it. Oh, I wish I knew then. Because if that's the case, I might have backed Miles. <laughs> <laughs> Your knees were too. We would have had to rush him. We would have rushed him. <laughs> That's it. It's calm. It's just a rushing. Miles was rattled the whole way home, if you remember. Yeah. He's no, no way. Fuck that, bro. No, 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 no. All right, guys. Is that something Felix has just sent it to me. Because... Everyone want to listen to this? Go on. <laughs> Is that something you've always had in the back of your mind? Because your post fight, the last fight you had, you said you'll never get a rematch. And then now, funny enough, we're here again. You got a plan. Did I say I was in there? You were a rematch? You sure? Did that? he miles? Yeah. He just, he just... <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that. I don't think that's it. Bro, that's something I would never say. You'll never see it. Bring it up. Bring it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me get out of here. Oh, Miles. I've got to give you that. Well done. Oh, he well done. stood it. He stood it. He stood it. But let me tell you something. He, We were playing a game on the way home. It was like um alphabet of things. So if I say <laughs> this filmed, a film beginning with A. Um, I can't think of a film with A right now. Along came, along came Polly. That's E. That's E. Election. Oh, I, e that's, I don't know what? why I said Are we playing it. a game? Are we playing a game of guess it? what? No, we were playing it on the train. And it was A, B, C, D. You had to do a film or oh, it would be a rapper or be a football yes. player. I go to America! You face me. Now if you steal. Uh.